so <laughs> along with again the, the 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 protest and the 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 social unrest man we have actually had of course we all know that we are all living in a global pandemic that has brought the world to a halt and we've had several people try to wheel it back into movement uh we have several leagues that have are uh, continuing with their season. We've had, of course, the NBA does their bubble. We had uh, the Women's Professional Soccer League, the N, what is it, the NWSA? They did a, they did a World Cup style tournament in a bubble in Utah. We had the MLS do a World Cup style tournament in, uh, uh, in their bubble in Orlando on the same sports complex as the NBA. And, of course, the WNBA doing their bubble. They're playing their entire season in their bubble um, at IMG Academy. But along with that, we have seen, we have seen uh, oh, of course, and then you have Major League Baseball who is not in a bubble, and they seem to be struggling having the most. Struggling. Uh, yeah, Major League uh, Baseball. In uh, practice now. and difficulties dealing with COVID, man. So um, what do we say about these leagues, man? Well, I think it's, it's what, was, what is amazing to me is how motivated they truly are about the money. And we, again, we all know the importance of the money. We stress the importance of the money. Everybody needs it. Everybody wants it. But it seems like they are, it is such a, in the forefront for them that they are even putting logic and health and safety to the wind. What do what, what, what do you do? How do you gentlemen feel about the, the the professional leagues and their and their handling of the COVID? Uh, so, and, so I well, I think it, it's the I'm sorry, D, but it's the same it's the same problem <laughs> as I'm sorry, but I'm keep going. It's the same. It's the same uh, problem as as a social justice thing. It's what you just said. Everybody puts everything away for a piece of paper or some digital numbers. That that's what rules the world. That what makes the world turns around. And then you're expecting athletes to solve this problem. And when you have owners, they have a brain. They have a heart. They have compassion. Do they? I mean, they do. They they have it. They may not have it for their their employees, but they got it for something. That's not how you I mean, they get to become rich. Video. I was gonna say they become rich off that for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you, they, you we can't, we, if that if that's what we gonna say, that's how they get rich. We can't complain because that's 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 the business model. Oh, that's my point. So, and, and when it comes to it's it's hey, about that's why I keep going, and I can I can segue straight into your point. <laughs> it's about it's about perspective. So, as a professional league, my one goal is to make money. That is my one goal is to make money. So to think that they would try to get back and make money, that's not surprising to me. Um. Now, you have to have the players or employees or the players to make your money, so you have to have a similar, uh, some sort of safety precautions in place for your players, one would think, um, which is why the NBA, the NF, NHL, um, NW, WNBA, they, had it, they did it the correct way um, due to the bubble. Um, NFL just literally... The amount of people all together with, what, 10 NBA teams is like 90-something people, just the players. That's one NFL team alone. So, like, the size of that bubble would be ridiculous, and the amount of people that would have to adhere to that bubble would be absurd. So not you, it's going to be difficult to do the bubble in those situations. So um, they're going to have to figure out some other way to do it. And, honestly, the NFL, I assume that they're just not going to report it. I mean, the NFL has shown no compassion towards their players in any shape, form, or fashion um, yet. 
So why would I assume anything different? Why would this be any different from a uh, concussion protocol in the Super Bowl where all of a sudden we're just going to say, hey, you're okay and you're okay. We're not even going to take you into the tent. So I think there's going to be plenty of them with COVID. They're going to have to just sit out two weeks, and they're just going to say they're out, hurt, injured, whatever they want to call it, you know, and they're just going to keep moving them on and moving them on until the season's over because they have to make their money. It's not a good situation because, like you were saying, it's not showing the compassion for the players, um, but it is the situation that I would expect to occur in the America we live in with the professional leagues. Let's see, but the thing is for me, okay, right now, full disclosure, I'm watching the Community <laughs> Shield. Okay, that's in case anybody watches. Well, can explain that for us. Right? Not, not, not a lot of people yeah, know what the Community and, Shield is. soccer competition in England. Right. right. It's a soccer competition in England. It's a preseason game which fits the champion of the FA Cup against the champion of the league. Okay? The, the winner of the English Premier League versus the winner of the English FA Cup Football Association Cup, an open tournament for all teams in England. Anyway, now, remember, I remember us sitting at, at, at the studio when the funk was really kind of hitting the fan when it got out of China. And we were sitting there discussing Italy and how this stuff was headed over here and how bad the situation was in Italy. Per capita, Italy had a much worse case of COVID than did we. About a month and a half later, you were watching Juventus play AC Milan. You were watching sports go on over there. There's ways to do it and do it safely, but the thing is the people in our country aren't willing to do the things to mitigate the circumstances. It's not just the pro leagues. It's the people in general. We were watching high school football last night, two packed games. And these are our high school students that we could care less about because everybody thinks, well, this is a hoax or it ain't as bad as you think it is. No, I think it was the overall attitude of the people. I think it was pretty yeah. packed for the Splendor. It's just emblematic yeah. of the people in this country. Huh? I think it was pretty packed for the Splendor Chapel Hill game last night, too. So what? Really, they played in Texas yeah. last night? Chapel Hill won 65-35. Really? That's like, what, 3A ball, 2A ball? Yeah. And places like that, I guess, is not so bad because they probably don't have a whole lot of cases. I don't know, in, 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 in those small towns. But when you start playing in Houston and Dallas and San Antonio, it's going to be problems. And nobody's really taking it seriously. If you really go around and look at the attitude of people, you would think that we'd already licked this thing, man. What do you think? Yeah, right. that is and, the... And, and, and... Oh, yeah. I was going to say that that that's the amazing part to me is everyone's attitude towards it is that this is under control and it's far from it. Like I was mentioning last night while we were watching the game, I said, man, I'm uncomfortable watching this, man. I, I just I cannot believe that people would put students, children playing a game. I mean, because ultimately that's all it is. There's no that that high school football. Yeah, it generates some money, but what? I mean, what 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 are what are they actually generating? The high, school money does. high school hey, ball does. High school ball does generate money. Hey, at least high Say school football is extracurricular to the school's curriculum. If you were in the groups I'm in, you would see that they're having national youth football tournaments right now with teams traveling, playing each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, youth football. From hot spot to hot spot. Okay, I'm talking about six and under traveling from D.C. to Tallahassee, Florida, to play youth football. Right, and that, so and so that's what I'm saying. I'm 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 truly confused and 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 and, and I'm not understanding that because even with the NCAA and I we we all know the amount of money that football generates for the NCAA. But the division, like you actually have two major conferences refusing to play, 
three other conferences saying they're going to play regardless. You got people petitioning to want to play. And, and, and with all of this, their campuses are having outbreaks. So you're saying to me, it's not safe enough to attend school, but we can go play sports. Like that, that the, the, the priorities here are just I agree baffling. with you wholeheartedly. The Big Ten says that they're about to play it, though. They're going to revise it, and they're going to be coming back soon. Pac-10, their players are still tripping, so I don't think the Pac-10 is going to play at all. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't tripping. The Pac-10 players, are, if you're if you're the Pac-10, you tripping. <laughs> the Pac-10, you tripping because y'all saying y'all ain't going to play. So, but... But we said, my we, thing. we, we, I, we repeated the, uh, the mantra Hello? though. Money makes this, this, this go round. Yeah, but if everybody else is playing and you all are not playing and the Pac-10 is not playing, that's not going to end well for those players. It's not going to end well for those players because their Pac-10 is missing out on a lot of money due to one group of people. It's not going to end well for those players. But that's not why I'm at. I'm at where Dara was saying. That is the country, bro. My, I'm sitting here dealing with the same thing at my house. My wife is a teacher, and they have no students allowed on campus up until September or something. But yet the athletics department is still going. The athletes are coming up to the school in the mornings and are practicing and are lifting weights and are roaming the school and doing things, catching COVID and all. Like, so this is just a, it, it is a, this is not, it's like you say, it's the colleges not taking care, it's the school districts, it's everybody is basically, but it, it, if you think about it, ultimately it makes sense because the United States of America was is built on money, is built on capital, and you can't have capital if nobody's moving. Simple as that. So they are going to have to get people back so that you can make your money so that America will be America. When what I hate about it is that if that's the case, then that's the decision they should have made at first. Because what was that three months for where everyone was sitting on their butts, everyone was not doing anything, couldn't go anywhere, was doing blah, blah, blah. It was supposed to give them time to get everything prepared. And like what you McCullough was saying, we have had the worst response in the world. In the world. Maybe third worst response because Brazil was pretty bad as well. And I'm hearing there's some places in Africa that's tripping. But I mean, but... Uh, uh. Hey, with our I mean, pure population, also with age, our so. population, up they cure polio though I think. Um, with our population, with our medical um, advances and the capabilities that we have here, there is no reason for COVID to be affecting us in the manner in which it is, except for pure, pure incompetence. Well, again, like I say, money rules. Like we said, cash money rules everything with, around me. Uh, pretty much, cash rules everything around us, and dollar dollar bills. Uh, everything makes money. So everything. even even the little leagues, they make money off the registrations and the teams. They make millions. Everybody makes money. Everybody makes money. So it doesn't even matter. The the attitudes of okay. Uh, it's next man up. We still having babies, so that next person's on. That next person's on play. You know what I'm saying? And the RC that that three months, that three months, it's all psychological warfare too. That three months is for you to get bored, get upset, and ready to do anything. Just your my rifle and storm the courthouse. Exactly. It, 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 it's for you to just get upset, get bored. But I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm about to make something happen. All right. Let me show you something that's so ridiculous. And because I've been getting called to referee games all summer. But let me show you something so ridiculous. Let me show you how much people want to play. Let me show you this product right here. Hold on. Hold on. I, I got to show you this product. Okay. So, y'all see my screen, right? Mm-hmm. You see that? Mm-hmm. 
You see that 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 thing? It's your home screen. Huh? All we see is your home screen. Oh Lord. Okay, that's for your whistle. That's a Fox (laughs) Forty whistle. Oh, oh, because I thought that was for something else, and I was like, dude. I know, right? It makes you think of the gimp on uh, 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 Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, right? <laughs> well, yeah. This is how bad they're trying to get us to do youth sports and all this type of stuff. This is what they want you to wear. Hmm? Now, I, explain to me how I can verbally report a foul with that damn thing on. <laughs> but, but, yeah, this is where we are, people. And they say it's going to be here for a while longer. So this vaccine comes around, but they're about to have a home test for it, they say. They say, uh, I heard on NPR, we've put over a billion dollars into testing for COVID-19, but the United States has put $250 million into vaccines. The government, that is, has put only $250 million into a vaccine, which would stop the effect of the COVID, but put over a billion dollars into finding out who had it. Well, we all know it's easier to treat. I mean, it's cheaper to treat than, I mean, yeah. it's more profitable to treat than to cure. Mm-hmm. And we've seen that with all diseases in, in modern times now. Like, how much money have we given to to cancer? And we ain't stopped cancer, even though there's so many. We ain't stopped cancer yet. Yeah. Shout out to well, Black yeah, I think it's more important to develop treatments, like effective treatments, than it is to have a vaccine. That's what we just said. Yeah, okay, good. Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Video, tweet, photos, videos. Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.